here I am in this hostel here. This one here is a little bit weird and different from the ones that I usually stay at because this one here is like a hotel which converted this entire floor, two floors in fact, into hostel beds like this. And it's weird because there's only two people in one room. Normally when you go to a hostel you want to have an environment where you're meeting people, where you're a bunch of sleeping with a bunch of people and then you guys kind of talk about your travels and stuff I actually have a neighbor here who is Thai and he's a photographer he went out for work now he left at like 5 30 right now it's like 7 53 a.m. Um, but he left at 5 30 he's gone but he doesn't really speak much English so there's no vibe there okay so today I'm going to be moving to another hostel and I'm going to see how that vibe is there um, but that hostel that I'm moving into today is going to be a little bit different or more of the usual places that you normally see as hostels in Bangkok and all around Southeast Asia. There should be much more travelers there to meet. Uh, other than that, yeah, this place is not working out for me. I mean, it's great if I wanted some peace and quiet, but if I want uh, a place to meet people and mingle, there's not because I'll show you. I'll actually show you. Outside here, it's just a, a bunch of hallways, and there's no common area for people to mingle. So, yeah, that's it. That's the vibe. Pretty weird, right? Anyways, I found this on Google Maps. It looked brand new, and I gave a shot. I gave a two nights shot. Um, this guy here, he is my neighbor here. He is just using this place as work. If I mean, quite honestly, he's using it as his own room. So good for him because he's getting a really good deal for um, one space where you got a space to work like this. But um, yeah. Uh, today I'm going to be moving out from here. I booked a couple nights at another hostel and we're going to see, well I'm going to see how that plays out. So this is the camera I got. Oh, oh very cool. Yeah. From Insta 360. Do it too. Yeah, need so many Insta. Tourists do? Like hmm? tourists? Tourists also jump? No. Yes. Really? Tourists? Yeah, no, no, Japanese people oh. just jump. Yeah. Maybe Japanese people is very hard work. Yeah. So tired. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes it, it, there is this uh, gate, but yeah. So coming. Yeah, I know. Well, crazy. Well, but, but why? I don't know. We were it's crazy. Yeah, maybe yes. I think so. Yeah. Too much working. Yes, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Japanese people too much. <laughs> <laughs> have a good choice. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> Relaxing. Relax and very free. Yeah. <laughs>
I just wanted to clear this so I can go grab more. Oh. So they have pork base. Mm. Good, right? Mm. <laughs> Very good. Give it a try. Try this. Have mm. it with some egg yolk. Right. Some salty egg. Yeah. And salty. You need to have some of the egg with it. <laughs> so we got um, somtam, crispy fried oyster. Somtam? Somtam, corn somtam. Corn. Corn style. This one is like a dessert, uh, ice dessert mixed with some beans and some things. Usually you crush it like this, crush it like that. Make it, it's very refreshing. Inside is mixed with beans and stuff like that, yeah. and uh, seeds. Yeah. That is Vietnamese uh, pho noodles, I'm guessing. Mango sticky rice, very popular in Thailand. You gotta try that. Definitely try that. And then that one is, uh, yeah, pad thai. Yeah. Give it a shot. Yep. Just try. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Do it. Make sure you get some sauce in there. The white sauce. Ah, oh, white sauce. With the sauce too, yeah. With the white sauce, yeah. That's the magic. Uh-huh. 